Okay, yeah. I have to do display capture. So, the VA REST system, the VA REST system is very straightforward. Now, I'm going to do what I did before, and I'm just going to like go through the exact process of creating, you know, the connection that there is like. You know, you're connecting to like APIs, JSON files. So the way this works, So the the process here is I'm gonna go my code. <laughs> code because like right notes. <laughs> Cause I wanna give my code to only Code Nico and Hannah Banana. Only those two. Those are my homegirls. <laughs> I've worked together with uh, Code Nico before. Code Nico, yeah, be careful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got yeah, a little angry. Like, that was supposed to be. I was supposed to be with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, but everybody's like a psychopath, so. Then, hey, she should be like someone, someone right here, <laughs> like <in, laughs> taking notes. <laughs> well, you know, people, am I right? All right. So essentially, uh, this is this is like kind of straightforward, but also very difficult. You gotta pay attention. You know. So, yeah, you yeah, yeah, pay attention to a, a, few, a few things here. Here. Okay. I want that to be toggleable. Do I have a toggle button? That's fine. Okay. All right. Okay, so, so to start off with, this is one of those situations where 
I have to look at a lot of documentation. As you can see, <laughs> this is what my computer looks like when I do a lot of coding in general. So, this is important. Let me keep it off. I want to do something funny. Let me just do something real quick. Yeah, that's perfect. Because people would try to say this is a VOD. A VOD, really? Okay, how about I show this? My favorite restaurant. For some reason, they don't serve uh, spinach noodles anymore. Very, it's like, it, this is like the main feature of the restaurant. And then it's like someone, like, I think one of the streamers, Interpol streamers, like, got angry because they want to impress me. And, and like, they want to know, like, this, this is what this is like, this is how psychopathic this is, watch. Watch how this goes. Watch, how this goes. watch, 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 watch. So essentially, if I can't buy spinach noodles, spinach is Chinese. This is my favorite food now. Chinese spinach, uh, spicy beef spinach noodles. So Chinese spicy beef spinach noodles. It tastes so good. Now, imagine if you will, if I wasn't able to buy that anymore. <laughs> Where would I be able to get that type of food? Hmm. I wonder. Maybe a female streamer's house. And it's like, when I noticed it, it was like, it was a week where all of a sudden spinach noodles were not available. And I was like, that is the whole point of your restaurant. <laughs> It's a whole point of restaurant. And it was like, so what the, and then all of a sudden, completely gone. And then I started noticing some female streamers, you know, preparing some food. It's like they're like <laughs> getting ready for me or something. Like, I don't know, it's just like, <laughs> I was like, okay, obviously then, that's what they that's what their goal is like to like try to get me to live with them and in order to do that you gotta like be perfect or something i don't know anyway okay so it's like a yeah, it's a get tutorial it's like basically the goal is to like get information and cast it into the unreal engine and it starts here so essentially i was gonna follow along with this person's tutorial like i did before and then this is where it goes. And then I gotta like customize it. So I gotta make sure it run into the Unreal Engine. And then I gotta like. And then that, yeah, that's it. Uh, I did this before already. But as you can see, there's a reason why I wouldn't do it again. Cause it's like, it's, it's a little complicated because you're looking at data, you know? As you can see, this is just like, this is a, like, people like think like, oh, making a video game is like, very, you know, like, it can be exciting, but then sometimes when you do you know, very specific, like, inventive, um, anything, you're, you're literally just, you know, you're, you're, you know. So, yeah. That's it. That is the end of that. Um,
Oh, right. Wait, hold on. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hello. Ah, that's annoying. <laughs> that's like... <laughs> Set text. See, this is a simple way of doing it. Okay. All right. So this is, I want to do it in front of people just so, you know, people can understand. Complicated code. It is complicated. It is a very complicated code. <laughs> you can see what this looks like. <laughs> this looks like. Um. So okay, I can go off of the begin play. Cause I already did this before, so it's like, oh okay, let's use a simple way of doing that. And then, and then, and then. Sequence. So it's like a little, it's a little way to just you know do complicated whatnots. <laughs> I'm just gonna like make sure I compile that. All right. Okay. So start the sequence. Um, the sequence is very important little tool. It's like it's like another way to get around like you got a bunch of code, but essentially you gotta like. You know, as you can see, it's like, this is the event. This is from the event begin play. And then this is, and then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, and then basically all this is just whatever. So like, it's like, what was that? What's the, what was that? What was that? Uh, Vera subsystem. Okay. Uh, car, uh, okay. Okay, from this here, and then another function. Great, and then I need a JSON VRS JSON asset. So I just like. Can I just? To construct. Does anyone just like help out Kobe go? 
That's the target. Okay. Was that a risk callback? I got a custom event. This is like an easy way to do this without having to like because then all I need to do is make sure because I'm going to get a different URL because I need a you know I want to do something in America where I live so I can like look outside and look at the computer look outside look at the computer and go to my direct location is the Best way to do that, get response object. This is basically, you know, this Unreal Engine coding. You know, we have nodes, and blueprints. And uh, I haven't done anything with Unreal Engine 5 yet. I wish I had my other monitor. The other monitor broke. Uh, get response object, get a ready field. Response object, ready field. Quest. Okay. Rayfield. So if you know what are if you if you're uh if you're if you if you know anything about coding and. Is like an array field essentially is a, a movable set of numbers instead of a static number, an array. I literally need to tell people <laughs> how I do this. How do you do it? It's like, okay, here, this is, here, this is how you do this. <laughs> and then, uh, I guess maybe for sake of the argument. Just to make sure it works. Should, oh, well, you know, I need it. What is that? Openweathermap.com? What if I can go get, like, Las Vegas? As objects. I'm gonna go off of this note. Okay, it's after this. Just. Set text as objects. Okay, I guess that's a. Is that casting? Is that as an object set text? Hmm. This is after. This is this is after you get all the information. So like get as object set text, and then like description. So you get the object description, get the weather, whatever the weather is. As object description set text tech and then like and then it'll be like display text and then that'll be what you do Just, yeah and that'll be how that works um, and this is a simple way to do this it's like API get API information from API into object as object set text display text done that's usually how that works um, yeah. So this is 
Looks like very rusty so I'll clean it. Let me see. I can set it as objects. As objects. Is it the opposite way or is it like That's annoying. Okay. Set as object. But the construct object's right here. So this is like the JSON object. Let's see. Start from object. We'll cast two objects. Is it, is it casting? Get object name. What well, as object? Get object. This is where this gets to. <laughs> this is it. Here we go. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> it is like it's like so. Construct object from class. Hmm. Or go through VA REST. Ooh, there's a JSON file, but it's like make JSON file. And it's like as this object, then I mean like I don't know what else to I wouldn't I wouldn't know what else to like get here because all this should be custom VMs get to let me see. Is that a casting as v VRS JSON object blank? Or maybe it's a variable. I think maybe that's a, what I had to do, like construct VRS JSON object. Is maybe to like make it a variable. I think that'll be the only way. I think that's what that is. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's an object reference. This is a variable. I don't know. Uh, well, time to look at the video. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, this is like the simple way of doing it. So, let's just look at this video so I can know exactly what this person did. Because this is where it's like there's a lot of, uh, a, lot, a lot of times in Unreal Engine coding land and where um, there's not any human documentation at all. <laughs> and then you just have to. Is roll with it. <laughs> have to roll with it and just see what the heck happens. Hey, this is Dario. Just want to show you how to get uh, data through REST API. So okay. So we we'll use this dude's code to see what happens because it's like, like what the hell? <laughs> Online. In this blueprint, we're not going to need the event system. All right, this is the same video. Okay. So let's go ahead.
So, let me see. I can just essentially See, look at all this solar parent, hello, solar parent, it's a panel, blah, 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 solar panel, uh, history, timestamp. Look at all this, like, API weather maps. This is what I mean by, like, you can just, like, decode all this, all this, all this stuff, you know, all this stuff. People are like, stuff? He's saying stuff, he's stuff like that. It's like, he's green dude. Nope. Marcus, by DNA. That's what I'm like. You know, I, you know this is funny. I could just stand and then, you know, prove my identity. Because my older brother is shorter than me. I gotta do this. <laughs> I could do it that way. Or I'm going to show you my birthmark. Yes, I... <laughs> Thinking about the, the way the camera works. People are so stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. All right. So... Because <laughs> it's like... You know, I saw that in there. <laughs> There's a nice website, Open Weather Map. Okay. That has a free API uh, available, and you can go and log in and sign up for an account here if you would like. But they actually also have a couple um, sample APIs that I'm going to use in this, so you don't need need to sign up for anything you just need to uh, um, hop on over to uh, uh, to this website grab the uh, uh, the link that's in one of these sample uh, API calls and that's going to work just fine for our purposes where's that <laughs> hello Oh, this is the problem I went, okay, went through last time. <laughs> yeah, the website looks completely different, and it's like, oh, man, here you go. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Okay, so what am I looking at? <laughs> what am I looking at? What, what am I looking at here? <laughs> oh no, it was the same situation I went through last time. <laughs> oh, no, okay. I guess they didn't want to be like, I don't know, maybe. Okay, I don't know, okay. Okay. That's in one of these sample uh, API calls. So like two point five weather question mark. <laughs> this is like typing the exact. Would that just work in the same way, or would it be like? Or maybe they made it a little bit more of like an advanced way. Is is this a Yes, this was the issue last time. Okay. Oh, man. 
<laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh no. Here we go again. Okay, this is. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. It's like actually so much work. Okay. It's just like a slight bit more code in there. Boom. With the API key. So I'm going to do this. And then, okay, that's what I thought. I already have an account. Um, Keeper Elf. <laughs> Ever phone numbers. <laughs> Ever phone. Okay. Doing those like, <laughs> or doing all those like, yeah, the captures. <laughs> Does this look like a car to you? <laughs> ah, I knew it. Okay. What the what the heck that? Is it hello? Is it my spam? It is. What, like, what the? <laughs> like, where am I going? <sighs> okay. Okay, yeah, that's why I thought I already have like some API keys. Okay. That's why it was so complicated last time. <sighs> it's like it's like <laughs> It's like what was this like that was like what 2020? <sighs> and now it's like so, you know, it's like, okay, so, you got key, it's right here, notepad, and then I'm going to, I'm going to do a thing right here. Get this. Okay, so my city ID and then API key. Okay. All right. 
So, we have London here, but it's not where I am right now. And there's a lot of you know, temperature, humidity, pressure. I'm going to get into all of that later. But for right now, I want to make sure it is. I don't want to. I want to make sure that it's like it goes right into the Unreal Engine, and then where is that? Okay, here. Go. Okay. I have to just like I don't have to do like this. Like, which city can I? Which cities are in the open weather? Okay, how about this? Um, how would I? I just type in Las Vegas. All is that all one? What is it in Celsius for? <laughs> Can I just like click a thing and then get the API from here? Or is, what's, up, what's up with this? Or is it there's gonna be like, what are you gonna have to do? This? Like, you know, guess. It's like, <laughs> alright, time to guess. Alright. Um, I'm going to guess that, no, no way, there's, there's no, it's like, there has to be a list, there's usually a list, they're like, this is how you do this, it's like, how do you like, well in coding land, I guess it would be like Las Vegas, so I'm just going to do it like this. So let me call URL in there. And then let me put API key. My own API key. So essentially, I'm just gonna guess that that's the way that that works. Let me make sure. And then I, I'm just gonna hope that works that way. What is? Okay. Let's see. Okay. So now I need to, let me just watch the video so I can see what the heck this dude did with this. Uh, also, that's going to work just fine for our. Yeah, because in this, it, it was the because it was like the simplistic way, and then they had to add an AP, it, it, you know. So obviously, we're not gonna, uh, so he constructs uh, it, and then um, the constructs so JSON we'll string value. Here we can we'll take. Stream. This one right here. Yeah. We'll come back to seeing what that looks like in just a second. But he has like a Let's little bit more. It's like, as you can see, it's like London.UK. So it's not just like. So the way that this person does, like, you know, obviously. We'll come back to seeing what that looks like in just a second. Symbols. Uh, 
I guess, okay, I can just mimic that one just to see what that does, just to make sure. I guess that's fine. I mean, I guess it's not going to be like, I guess it doesn't matter now, whatever. So is it like, hmm, would that be the same thing? Like, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Because I can just put in like Once samples or whatever. Here set, we do need Let me just at least put dot .us just to make sure. Because it could be that is that complicated. Because like code can be a little bit more specific sometimes. All right. To create a new custom event. So call back from... that I'm looking at here, I'm actually interested in printing this text right here. Yeah. Like, so then, like description. So essentially, you look at this and you get all this code. So all this code, you see all this, and then essentially, oh, you see you see all of this information. And then essentially can get just so I'm gonna go off of like this humidity is pressure, it's temperature. Uh, but then what I can do is like I can do something crazy. I can do like the temperature, but then add a times, let's say a times 10 function. So whatever the temperature is times 10, and then you know, and then it can be even more like um, it can be more specific so you can see the effect as much because you know temperature can be like it is it's 70 79 degrees outside <laughs> it is it is 29 degrees outside what ah, you know <laughs> so Great intensity drizzle so <laughs> it is like is it's 29 degrees in the weather field yeah. the weather field as indicated only has one my uh, my now contact sensitive is helpful see where array is and then this okay here you go we need to convert that to an object oh it's from this to get rid of context sensitive ah, i knew it uh it's so always that see it down JSON. JSON. okay it's like it's okay content set see 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 what i mean see what i mean see what i mean see what i mean do you see what i mean do you see what happened do you see what happened there? Do you see what happened there? <laughs> See what happened there? See why I'm so annoyed? <laughs> why is that not content? Okay. You know what I mean? Like, how is that not... <laughs> how is that not in the context of VRS? Because all of this is a VRS, JSON object. How is this not in the... Okay, you know? Hello? Anyway. Turn value. Target. Wait. Hello? <laughs> JSON? Connect those two. Excuse me? All right, let me just get a ray field. Or did I put get a ray field? Yeah, what the heck? Is that the not? Okay. Description. All right, okay, fine. There is, okay, all right, get object array field. No? Okay. <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> get object array field. Excuse me? What? So it's just like, this is why it's, it's like, okay, so you're following the code along, and then all of a sudden it's just like, it's like a, a disconnect in some way. And it's like, how's that possible? How's that possible? As object. But I should be able to like, do a get array field.
And shit just go, okay. So what's disconnecting now? Okay, let me do contact sensitive again. Ray, get a copy. Okay, here's that get value. And then I think that was what I was missing. Oh, okay. All right, fine. We're gonna just skip that part of the code. Whoops. There's a get value. And then, yeah, I skipped that part. Whoops. Okay, get ready field. I just skipped that part, dang it. Uh, and then get ready field. What the? <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. What? Okay. Return value, get array. And it's like, is that get array field or is it get object array field? Sometimes I skip over code. Now context sensitive is helpful. String. Yeah, my thing I'm going to do is get an array field. This is normal word. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. And then, all right. All that description. See where array is. And then so it the, should, this is like a normal get value. Sensitive like, is helpful. See where. Okay. Copy. Okay. okay. And then this should, yeah, okay. All right, I just like skipped over this part. Cool, now, sometimes I do that. I'm working fast. Cause like, yeah, it's like, my memory is like, oh, okay, I remember this and it's like. We need to convert that so that we can actually see it. Thing okay. with, and it's the weather that's the array. Yes. That has description in it. Yep. field so from this I can do anything so that's a specific value but what I want to do because I'm gonna do something different here I want to make sure it's just I want to make sure it works in general so what I'm about to do is as, as object play sound Okay, let me. The, hello. With the, all right, here we go. We compile, save. Ugh. What is this? <laughs> all right. There's a restart. Yes, all So, what was that? Okay, okay. All right. What I'm gonna do is a delay. And then I'm gonna do like, let's say I do like, I'm gonna do like a 60 second delay. And then when it's completed, play sound. <laughs> and then, 
I'm going to play. Yeah, how about that? And that's what, yeah, that's what I did last time. So to make sure it works, I just do that. And then, uh, then after that, it's like, you know. Because it's like, I can get values off of, off of the, the API. So, you know, I'm getting different values and then from this value, this, this value, this. And then this is basically the URL, the API URL into Unreal Engine. And then once it's, once I have the information, then it goes here and then it goes through. So essentially, I want to make sure that is correct. I want to make sure that's going to, you know. So there we are, our blueprint. So yeah, I don't need to do the string field. Um, all I need to do is have it like actually, and then that's, and then basically. And it looks like there's a light intent. Okay, so I just need to make sure the URL is correct. That's it, because it's an API. I have my API key, and then essentially it's supposed to just work just like that. And let me go ahead and press it. So I'm going to press that button. <laughs> so people are like, this is basically how like, yeah. It, if you wanted to know, like, how, let's say, let's say how, um, I mean, programming musical, it's kind of like that. Like, you set up everything, preload everything, press the button, and you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Just like that. <laughs> Woo! Anastasia, directed by John Lasseter. <laughs> so the movie starts out in a, in a zone, zone, you know. <laughs> and all these people be dancing at a party. <laughs> Plot of Anastasia. Anyone? <laughs> nice. Be a rest system. <laughs> Yay. So let's get complicated with it. <laughs> so let me make sure it's actually. Uh, okay, so weather in Las Vegas. I can get complicated with it. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure. So as it affects the world, right? So, okay. So as it affects the world. So. Okay. So. So I need to. And then, you know, mean sunlight. Okay, so I have to have this as a variable. And what I want to do is have the sunlight change. <laughs> but the intensity of the sunlight change. So I have to, like, I have to make sure.
So like object. So what do I do? Like mean sunlight object. Yeah, this is where everything gets complicated. <laughs> it's like, okay, so I have to possibly make a variable or maybe I have to make, uh, isn't it like object, like place sound object or like class reference? It might be a class reference, construct object from class, object reference. I think it's an object reference. Or I can just. Light class. Cast a light class. I mean, like. A component. Right. Because that is a component. So. I'm not adding a component, I'm I'm using a component. Or I can go from the blueprint. Oh, it could be a get value, like get component. Like class, interface. Here we go, and then Is that ah, so annoying? It is a direct light component. It is a direct light component, and then ah, I forget how to do this. All right, look at it. Get it's like God dang it. Um, it would be like it would be like a. It would be how to change a day-night cycle. That's what it would be. It's a simplistic task, but I gotta remember how to like cast the objects and the, and the whatnot. Or I could just do it like this. I mean, this is a variable. I don't know. Or <laughs> this is what I could do. <laughs> Watch this. You do like this. <laughs> Does that work? Sometimes that works. Yeah. Do I update? Dang it. I don't know. Okay. Time to like actually do like a. Okay. So, my keyboard elf. That's done. Uh, it was uh, the underlined in. What would that be? Daylight cycle. Clock with moon. Nice having to throw the other one. It doesn't make a difference. Hmm. 
Hey, Who wouldn't do that one? Welcome back to another mission. Seven, what the? Long, 17 minutes. Custom event. And if you see this, and we rotate Hello. it, <laughs> rotate it to right there. So that's basically getting the frame delta, so the time in between each frame. Yeah, what yeah, the heck? As a, it's like a perfectly around continuing frame. reference. Go back in here. We only want to mess about with that. Hello. It's on the right. I'm going to drag up. It's got a reference to our light source, as that's what we want to move. So I'm just going to double click the top there to minimize it a bit. Select our light source. And then in the world outline up here, I'm going to drag and drop it in. Yeah, what the heck? What the? Okay. That object works. Hello, what the? The component, like what the hell? Is an instance? Is that an instance right now? Is that coming from a different level? Oh god. Okay, fine. Alright, no problem then. Um another okay, fine. Fine. Alright, no problem. Uh I'll just make direction light. Yeah, more sunlight, fine. <laughs> Maybe there's like an error. Maybe there's an error. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? Alright. Hello? <laughs> like, what the. There we go. Like what? Like what the hell? Okay, or maybe it was um, maybe it was because it's, it's no, nope, that's this. Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, then I guess I'll just delete this sunlight and now this sunlight. I guess, alright, I guess. Okay, just so, just to say that it can, it's like, uh, intensity, light color, okay. Great. I don't know what the heck that was about, but that's annoying in a way where I'm like, all right, whatever. Okay, so. And then component data. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click delta rotation, figure out how much you want to rotate this out. Click to get a delay. Rotation. So to solve that, it's very simple. It's greater than a float. Yeah, this is a the rotation cycle. Basically, when you want the lighting to change. Yeah, get out your uh, yeah, like connect the set intensities together. Set intensity. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do set values. So I'm gonna do like a set value, uh, maybe like a times value, like a like multiple, and then like a delay. 
Put them like that. All right. Cool. Check it. Now, watch. Watch how they, watch how I do. Watch how I do. Okay, okay, okay. So essentially, this is how it goes. All right. Because it's like all this is. Oh, this is how this goes. Okay, check it. So, this is just how this goes, right? So I have to make another. It's annoying. It's like I have to. It's like what the, all right. It's so annoying. I'm like, fine, whatever. So, what the heck? All right. So. So, what the? <laughs> you didn't think I'd think about that? How long? <laughs> so, Tessie, and then. Okay, so right now the test is, let's say, uh, let's, let's do something crazy, like, <laughs> like, like that, <laughs> but gradually, so, isn't there, but it's like a, a set, uh, intensity, new intensity, and the float value, hmm, isn't there like by time? I think by time, isn't there a by time value like time in seconds? Time span ratio or time frame? Get time in seconds. Or maybe it's the delay? In a certain time frame, break time frame, frame time. Hmm. Get time seconds, time elapsed, time dilation, time measurement frame seconds. I mean, get total seconds. Or what if I do like a set time value? And then set float value by time. That's what I want to do. I want to set the float value by time. But that would be delay. And then when completed. So what if I make a delay, get time in seconds, cast num float value of seconds to the the How about that? Let's let me try that one. So delay and then duration in seconds. Get time seconds. How about this? Float. Time. Float in seconds. Easy. Ah. Yeah, it could be a random float value. And then I could be like, I loop it.
or I can do delay, add value, delay, add value, delay, add, delay, add, delay, add. Do <laughs> that way. That would be the way. <laughs> it would be like, it would be like, do something. Do like, okay, delay, add, float, add, float, okay. Delay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, check it out, check it out, check it out. <laughs> so, new intensity. So, like, set intensity and then delay. I could do it that way. And then delay. And then get float value. So, like, get float. Set intensity. So I guess I'll I guess I'll do a delay. Delay of like let's say I can do it that way. <laughs> like new set intensity, but then it's like That'll be like some crazy random float value. So like zero times blank. Cause it's not gonna it doesn't work like that. But then I can do it like you know. You know what I mean? Or it could be like, like this instead. <laughs> and then you can see, and then, and, then I, and then I can get really complicated with it. But I don't know. <laughs> so then it's, it's, and then, oh, and then it's gonna get even crazier. So it's like this, you know, it's like, uh, so intensity. And then, <laughs> then it would be like a times, Times and then whatever times and then whatever times and then whatever times and then whatever times and whatever times and whatever times. Okay, so it's like five seconds, <laughs> you know, and then just uh, that's three. So like, hopefully, when I'm, every five seconds it goes times three. So it's three is gonna be like, is it three to nine to like twenty seven to like uh, twenty seven one carry to three, wait, twenty seven times three. Is that fifty three? No, no. Twenty seven times three. That's not 53. 27. 3. 2. And then 3 times 2. 6. And isn't that... What is that? Seven, three, two, ninety. Is it ninety three? I think it's ninety three. And then ninety three. So it's gonna get crazy at every in the end. Yeah. Is that correct? Let me do the math. <laughs> Let me check it out. Check it out. Uh, do I have a calculator app? Because <laughs> I do that all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, look. Hey. My mind. Because 
It's like, hello, like, you can just use your brain, like, it's, here, drum roll, please, hello, drum roll, 27 times 3, 81, dang it, what did I do, okay, I did 7, what did I do, I did 7 times 3, 7 times 3, right? And it's 21. It's the one. And then, yeah, 21. And then I have the one. Three times two, six plus two. Yeah, six plus two. There's six, six plus two. Okay. Anyway. You gotta refresh every time. You gotta refresh. You gotta give yourself a refresher. You gotta give yourself a refresher. Sometimes you just gotta give yourself a refresher on like doing math in your head. Cause it's like the process of it. Like you gotta like imagine like the written math in your head. Ever do that? No? I do that all the time. All the time. <laughs> all the time. I do that all the time. Now see there, Bobby, that's what you call math. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I try to do math in my head and it hurts my brain. <laughs> oh, I gotta make sure I do that. Okay. <laughs> well, son, uh, I, I think in, you need a refresher. <laughs> now, down on the Alamo. <laughs> okay, uh, set intensity. Okay, I gotta make sure it's in time. Here. Let's see if that works. <laughs> Let's see if that works. Okay. Every five seconds. <laughs> oh. It is working. Oh, it does work. All right, hold on. Oh, yeah, it was working. Hold on. There's this the sphere. I don't want to actually delete this. So what I'm going to do delete it. Press play. I can get this sky. Okay, I'm not seeing any changes. What? That's what happened, okay. Undo. So maybe something a little bit more like So I, I should be able to hear the music. You know, I'm not gonna put a delay on the music. Uh, I'm not gonna put a delay on this music right here. Let me just not put the delay on the music. Let me just go ahead. This in there. This right there. Leader. Leader. <laughs> you gotta use the delay. <laughs> Leader. Leader. <laughs> How about I use this as a reference? A nub. <laughs> what is that? Um, these are. This is a nub. <laughs> Things dance. <laughs> and then I'm gonna set. Let's go ahead and set. Uh, scale.
relative. We're trying to do. New scale, okay. And then there's a the current scale of this. So I should be able to hear the music, and then it goes through, should go through, and then, so, okay, so, so the sunlight, something's happening with the sunlight, but the delay system, delay, and then, Let's say five seconds. And then within five seconds, the new scale is like this. And I want to see that happen. <laughs> yeah, was... Five seconds. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, here you go. Now, now you can see where I'm going. You can see where I'm going. You, know? you can see where I'm going. Okay, okay, okay. This is about to get crazy. Okay, watch. Watch this, watch this. So now, okay. So essentially... Vector. Now let me see if I can do that. <laughs> let me see if I can do that. Okay. All right. Vector times. Uh, so I can get a float value, but I don't know, like, a random. It's like, you know, some, like, array of value. I could do that, but I want to do vector times vector. And... The array, I want to do times, like, you know... Every five, I want to do like maybe like a loop of sorts. Aha. <laughs> Let's do a loop. Okay. And then like, uh, <laughs> so I want to see what happens. And so every five seconds, it should go, it's gonna loop back, and then sh 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 and basically, that. And so it basically, I could do a check value. I can do that with the. It can be like, um, what it basically what I can do. I can loop whatever, and then check the new weather pattern. So that's how I can do every five seconds. You can see and like. Let's say the weather is changing. Let's say it's raining, but it stops. So essentially, what I'm doing here is to check a system where it's like, it, you know, it checks the value again. But if it's a floating value in a ray field, it's gonna be whatever number, whatever value, whatever um, rain, whatever, right? And then basically, Every five seconds, I'm testing the system. Whatever, you know, every, basically, every five seconds is going to be a check system. That's basically what I'm making sure of is that. But this time, I want to do, you know, let's just let's see, yeah, let's see every five seconds times. I want to see if I can do the time system and then see how that goes. Yeah, that's a, I guess it's just... <laughs> it 
Is it doing? Is this like a? Is this like a one times one type of situation that's happening here? Maybe that's, maybe that's like maybe that became like a one times one. So I guess it's like. I guess set scale. Then, because I want to see like if it can change. Okay, I guess it's like, I guess this might be a one times one. So let's see if I can do like a float value. But, um, it has to be a vector. But maybe like a vector times, I mean plus. But it has to be vector. I could, I could do it like this. And then a new scale is whatever the last set value, because I'm just getting the same value. Or I can, from this value, get scale. Oh, wait. Or from the target, get scale. Get world scale. Here you go, this is what I need right here. And then whatever this scale is, plus or times that every time. Maybe that'll be the way to do it. And then so times, vector times vector. What is it, vector times vector? So yeah, times whatever. Times whatever now, so like pi. So the original, so this, this is gonna be the world scale times whatever and then that's gonna be the new scale so every time that's and then that should be what i get here should be i hope it is come on let's go come on five seconds yes okay okay <laughs> That's how I do that. Okay. Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay. All right. So now you can check. So uh, world, whatever, whatever, whatever the world, get whatever value and variable. And then add, and then I can do add, subtract, uh, move here, um, change color, you know. I can do anything with like that. So that's great. That is great. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so let me just do something cohesive. Like, so I got the Las Vegas. Weather description set string so whatever yeah that would be that would be it, yeah so set string value so let's see that's three D.
the weather. Okay, so, so for right now, I'm gonna do Listen to a set text. That sh should be the correct way to do that. Let me just look at the video. Is that the correct way to do that? Yeah, get stream field. The last thing that I want to do is set this, uh, set the text. Okay. Description? Hello? Is it just from the description? Oh, description. Or do the... Oh, weather just... Oh, what the hell? Those two, which is the description. Let's go back and take a look here. The ah, I hate when that happens. It's the weather that's... Dang it. The array. It's the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's just like what was the situation. <laughs> okay, other way around. I think that should be it. Turn value and stream description of the weather to the text of this text and set text and go. 
Hả? Dang it. Where did the text go? Okay. Well, it worked. It's just that I don't know what the text is. Text is empty. Events sec what the Just do uh, or Unless I've got the, I mean, the API has like information missing. It could be that. So I need to see the the full JSON before I do this. Hold on. It should this should be it. I mean, it, I mean, technically that was it, but. Hmm. All right. Well. Yeah. Let me let me see if it's not just like the text three D has like uh, some errors. Always <laughs> has some errors. So it's like. Oh, what the, oh, I hate me. The hell, okay. It was, what's going on with this? What's going on with that? So set text. Text render. Mm -hmm. 
into this. I, it could it could be that the uh, it could be that like the the information isn't there, but I got to make sure that that the API is working, and then that's it. Yeah, that's all that was. Okay, so. So, yeah, okay, I, I, I return to know values. Okay, so I have to make sure I get like like the correct API call, and then that's what I'll do. So I'll do some do some keyboard elfing, and then get the correct uh, API. Cause that's all that was. it works though. That's all I need to know. Let's just do some keyboard off of it. <laughs> <laughs> I should make it. You know, I should actually get uh, I should get an email. <laughs> okay. Um, I can do latitude and longitude. API call. Really now? Huh. Does this work? Does that work? Are you kidding me? I can do like a... I can do literally a... Like what? So wait, I can do some crazy, okay. All right, check it, watch this, watch this, watch. Watch how I do, watch how I do. So I'm gonna do some craziness. I'm gonna do some crazy, okay, let me, let me show what I, let me show what I just, uh, okay. That was clutch, that was clutch. All right. So essentially I'll just show, okay. So, um, so this is what I got, I got this. But this is a latitude longitude. I don't know where that is, but whatever, right? So this is for the sake of the argument. And then, like I said, it's just like as simple as put and and then overcast clouds, wherever that is. But now let me see if I can redo that. Okay, hold on. Let me let me get the the city data. Let's see here. Latitude, look, latitude, longitude, uh, weather data, latitude, latitude, uh, rain. So essentially, it starts from. I can do like so. Essentially, weather description, and then main. This is what I'm, this is what I should see. So I should I'm seeing something like this. So. So I can be like, rain, um, main rain, um, moderate. So if, it's a, so I can do like a if then. So like, if, if so, um, up I can do a Boolean, and it's like, if true, if shows, you know, uh, rain, then rain. 
if blank then blank, essentially. That's basically what I was gonna do. Yeah, you know, I did. I did do a, a lot more. Uh, so let me see. If I can find that city. Feels like. <laughs> feels like. <laughs> He was like cloudy. <laughs> the bulk page. Oh, there is. Okay, city list. Twenty twenty. Hello. City name API key. So I don't need all that mumbo jumbo. I can just, okay, I'm gonna do it like this. Let's see how that works. City name. So it should, it should go right into it. So okay, let me see. Okay, so now this is this is what <laughs> this is one of my challenges. So okay, um, I have this sphere. The sphere is not connected to any sunlight. It's just a sphere. It, it, it's just a, it, so essentially, uh, you know, it, it's like a static sphere, night. <laughs> so I should be able to like manipulate all this, but it looks like there might be like, I have to like get the directional sunlight actor and change it, maybe I'll change it to the one I added here. And then, fresh, you know. And then, and then that static, So as that changes, you can see what happens there. So, so you can see how that works. So, um, but let's put it back to the, what the hell? Okay. So, nice guy. Right. This is very specific. I set that up, like, perfectly. See how, like, like detail that is? It took a second to do that. Go back to this. All right. So, now, I can change this, you know, in any way I see, you know. So, what I want to do is I can do a vector value a floating value. So it's essentially the night sky is essentially what I'll be looking at. So essentially because of this I can so I, let me just give her some yeah here you go. Not everything's looking a little bit the, the color in the sky is like very specific, like, as you can see, like, 
like I added that in there. See how everything was kind of like detailed. Like it, to get this looking this way, I had to like you know I'm gonna put a bunch of a direct, directional something like see everything kind of like everything changes in that way. See like it will look look a little drab without all this sunlight, you know. So. I'm going to change the light color. Change the light color. So. This directional light. Maybe. Change this directional light. It looks a little bit more realistic. More color there. Looks nice. Hmm. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So with this, so I can change, you know, you know I can, can change all the colors and whatever. So like, you see, like everything's kind of like and then and the intensity, and then you know, everything looks even weirder, you know, weird and wacky. Yeah, like, everyone looks weird and wacky. Everything's weird and wacky. Everything's weird and wacky now. <laughs> weird and wacky. <laughs> so essentially, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. As the so the I can make it a fault value, a ray field, a delay. Then it's like it's like as I want to make it. I want to make a clear change of whatever. It doesn't even matter at this point. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Actually, it just doesn't matter. It's like as as the day changes, or maybe time, they can get a time API, so a time API of Vegas, then changing the sunlight from, let's say, representation of light, or a daytime could be, uh, have you ever played Gomon's Adventure? Uh, it's kind of like the same thing where like everything gets like, like and then like and then, you know it's nighttime and then and then you know it, it changes but this is like this needs to all this needs to be lit up right so I can like superimpose nighttime or I can superimpose daytime so let's see you see how that works this should be what it looks like at night. You know what I mean? And then, and then turn it back on. So I think this should be the, this should be what's activated and deactivated. So it's like, turn it off and then nighttime. Turn it on, daytime. Like, woo! Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll look, ooh, that'll be, ooh, look, ooh, look, so good. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's perfect.
Okay. <sighs> That's perfect. That is perfect. So this is what I'm, I'm at. Like, you can you see how that? And then like, so right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a knight um, API, and then it, it's gonna be a boolean value, and then I guess like I wanna do like a gradual change. Um, by I have to figure out what the, the gradual change in seconds is like. By this time, like in seconds, like ugh, I have to figure out. I gotta, what, I mean, I don't, I don't need to stress out. <laughs> it's just, you know. It's just, it's just the way this works. So, so right now it's nighttime style. <laughs> so call URL. And then I had to make another uh, work through. And then basically, so let me just make a, I should have huh? There are subsystem, there's an object, URL. Just copy and paste this. And then let me do like, this is weather. So I got weather. Uh, what is that label? What is that thing? Where is like a label a thing? Is, this, is it, it's get set, uh, set label, hello? Uh, what is that? All right, hold on, let me just do it this way. What is that called again? A graph node. Okay. What? What is that? Whatever. No, it's uh. I swear, it is a way. Text box. No. Nope. Comment. There. Okay, and then this is Las Vegas weather. <laughs> and then uh And then yeah, I have to like look at the I have to look at the the JSON API of of the time of what like the whatnots in general. So like response object, array field as object, and then get this, and then I'll just start from the as oh you know. I, uh,
callback. And then it has object. And so this is like, this one is into object. This. This. Here. Yeah. And then this is the sequence. I guess what I want to do with this is, okay, let me just build that out. Okay, I'll build this out. Okay, so essentially, when it is, okay, when it is, when the day, main sunlight, so, oh yeah, that's right. Dang it, what, what the heck is going on with the, the this object here? Is, what the... Why can't that be like, what's with the component there? This is a default component. I mean, I think maybe I can add another. Let me see what, if I can just add another sunlight. And then just put it back in the hood. But it was affecting the entire sky. Huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's what gets confusing. Hmm. I mean, like, as it affects. There we go. Atmosphere, sunlight. Okay, that's what I. Okay. But, alright. So, this is nice. Okay, now this is gonna work. In that. I was trying to figure out like, what the, the heck is going on. Alright, so now this is gonna look really good, and it's gonna look really nice. Ooh. Okay, cool. All right. I was like, it has to be something. Cool. Now, and now, all new living sound. <laughs> and then, yeah, what was, okay. All right, never mind, okay. Okay. So, intensity. Set intensity, skylight. Here, okay. What the, hello? What context is that? Right. And then, uh, set. Okay, now what's, what's up with this? What? Hello? Yeah, with the okay. This word is it? Okay, it's fine. Okay. Anyway, so as objects and intensity, have a delay, and then to like back into this, it should be like every second. Oh, it could be gradually. 
but essentially it's object. So I'm getting an array field to a float. I'm getting a float. So get array field. Um, get response object, get array field. Whether, and then it's, it's like, so I started getting array field. It's not gonna be weather, but I'm essentially getting the value of whatever as object. So it is the same way as object of that array field, get string field, and then, okay. So yeah, so what I need to do here is actually go ahead and then um, get some time and then look at the JSON file. Um, API it is I don't know how to do that but I gotta just like just figure out how to like do it or well, maybe they'll list it maybe they'll list it I don't know um time of day hello um it should be like an API like an open time API JSON API and then I think I should be able to find what I need here okay so Do they have time on these? Oh, this is a temperature. Yeah, this is just weather. Okay, okay. So here we go. <laughs> Not gonna. Yeah, here we go, keyboard elf mode. <laughs> keyboard, keyboard elf mode. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> All right. Open API city times. Open where API city date and time. Do they have date and time open API? Weather API. It's a weather API. Weather data. Time zone. That would be time zone. That would be time zone. That would be time. okay. Google. Hello. I have my own Google. Everything. <gasps> Timestamp and what is in the okay, 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 all right then, okay then, okay then. Okay, so okay, data return time zone ID. Is that is that what this is? Cool sample. Yeah, we're like, uh, I need to see the, the return format and JSON file. I need to see that JSON formatting. Can I see the JSON formatting real quick? Okay.
Don't I have an API key? Or maybe I can like look at that information again. Google. I mean, I'm sure there's like a like a a time zone API. Like, come on, there's a time zone API. It has to be something. Stack overflow. All there is here is temperature. Time zones in seconds. Uh, really? <laughs> and then I got offset. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> like, what? Are you kidding? Me? Are you seriously kidding me? Are you really? <laughs> okay. In, in seconds. So they get the time zone because they have to get the time zone data. So it must be all in the same information. It must be all in the same information. So essentially, I can do this. It should be in there. What am I seeing here? Hmm. Come weather and forecasts. They have energy prediction, but not what about like <laughs> well like how about the time? Geocode, okay, well, how about the time? <laughs> time. Really, is it, okay, in the open, okay, fine, fine. All right, it's not this website. <laughs> okay. All right, time API. Okay, so like a, like a free time, time zone API. Simple free time. Okay, there. Okay, great. It started. Yeah. Can you time zone? Current time. Year, month, day, hour, minute, seconds. Date, time, time. Great. So what is the...
Okay. So, can I just... What is the... What would the correct American Yeah, what's the full time zone names? Oh, right. It would be, uh, very specific, isn't it? Okay, so that would be that would be Okay. Okay, let's see that. Get in there. I'm going to try to do the same. Let me just connect these nodes to that node. I don't want to see that happen. Okay, so all right, so I got an API. Um, so this is the time right now. So essentially, I mean, this is the year, you know, all this information, and then essentially that is, yeah, it's right now. So I have I plugged it in, and I want to see if that works. What I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna try to. It's, this is much more, so it's just time for simple it's time. So it's like, let me just 
let's disconnect this for a second. So as objects, I want to make sure this, this is actually connected first. So let me just make sure. I just need to hear the music. But there were music and Yes. <sighs> that is so awesome. <laughs> Success. <laughs> Says so that short and have red hair. Okay, so now I want to make sure that the that what I see is actually like I want to see the time be casted, and then I can do some complicated whatnot. So what I want to do is. Let's take some of this set text. Get string. Yeah, I'm gonna do, and then it goes. It's gonna go right to this instead. I don't want to see that happen. I want to see if it's. it's it listed as time. I want to see if that's just like as, as simple as that. <laughs> All right, so get item. Okay. It has to be specific, get a response object, get a ray field, as object, trim value. Oh, let's see, okay. Whoops. Oh, I don't need to do all that. Get a ray field, return value, get string field of time. And then that should be all that is, I think. Get a ray field as object, and then that's possibly what it is. Okay, come on. Dang it. Ugh. As is none, object return value. This, and then as object. So it starts from here. Hmm. 
well, this is the array field. <laughs> this is the, this is the, so I'm like, I'm essentially like, I essentially did the array field time, then access time. So I don't need the, I can, I can just go into the string value that thereof. I think that's how it works. Cause it's like, get array field, response object. Get response object, get array field. So I got the array field as object. Maybe get string field. Oh, oh wait, moreover, it would be a, a full value. Get a array field. The array is time. As time, get float. And then... Uh, this is a number field integer. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna get the array field again. It's not a string value. I guess it would be integer number field and the return value. I don't, you know, number field, field name. <sighs> Maybe it's just a number field. And then, number field, float the string, possibly. Yeah, print string, build string to string. String. Then set text. I, to, I mean, it has to be something. <laughs> it has to be something. Okay, well maybe I'm gonna need to get another get because I mean, I already got the array. I already got the array, so it's like return value and then I already got the get response object, get array fuel of time, return value, and then return value to string. Can I just go directly into, okay. 
as object, return the value of the string, get string field to string to string. We can just go directly to string, really, and then do it that way. Turn value of time into whatever that is, and then to set it to text. Okay. All right. None. Okay. All right. Here we go. That is huge. That is huge, that is huge, that is huge. Huge, okay then, alrighty, okay. <sighs> that was a little difficult, okay. So, so now, none, there's like a none value right now. So maybe it's not get array field, get number field. So get response object of blank into blank. Get bool field, get integer number field. Um, it's not a string, it might be I don't know, like a in, integer array field of time, and then we get a reference. Copy of that then as object as object of huh. Yeah, I'm supposed to get an integer. Well, I think I'm supposed to get a float value. And promote a variable. And then, then as object. That works, kinda. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I'm supposed to just get a, a number. <laughs> okay, all right, what if I don't need to, what if I can just directly send this into, okay, as, and then string. Get string field, to string, to text, string. Dang it. <laughs> uh, oh, concept of it, okay. And then and then make it into an object. So I think it, okay, so I think it I think this is correct. Maybe I just use this value right here. Into a get value, I okay.
Because it didn't have... It didn't read anything. Okay. It didn't read anything. It, was like no, it read nothing in the time value as an array field. So if I go into make this a get value. Make it a copy. That could work. A reference. And then possibly, dang it, what is the error? Character is number hmm. The only thing I'll put well, I mean like Just like anything else, it would it would have to be get array field. Then it would go into this object. But the issue is that it's returning as none. But that doesn't mean that there's none. It means that there's Is accessing none. It just needs to access this. So what if I instead do this? Or maybe I have to like put the quotations on it for some reason. It could be that it's the quotations, but I don't know why I would need the quotations, but if it's, if I need to put quotations on it, I put quotations on it. But, but that doesn't make any sense either. So. No. Hey, it's like, what the heck? Is it activated or not? What, what is it? What is it? And technically it's not a string field. The text. I'm gonna do number field to text. What is it as object? But it starts at the as object. The string field of Time. Or time zone. So 
So I know it's connected to the API, which is great, but it's accessing nothing. Literally, nothing. There's no value. So like, essentially, I have to figure out why, like what is it that it needs, like, okay. And in the array field, that's correct. But then, you know, the get value should cast correctly. Yeah, it's just, all of this is correct. All of this is correct. So it's like, So maybe disconnect, if I disconnect this, disconnect this, what's the way I know right now, five, one each, <laughs> that's what that does. This is a random number. But as objects, nothing. Okay. Hey, the API. But it's like get response object array field energy field could be an energy field and then return the value but maybe I don't need to make it an object I just get the and then return the value of time into String integer to text. Here we go. Okay. What progress? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this is what I mean, like, I have to, this is what I mean by, like, you know, it's a little, it's a little different. <laughs> Every time I do this, it's a little different, so, okay, so, maybe I don't need to make it an object. It's not an integer, and so... Turn value the output okay from this and then then this to string as string and then to this possibly possibly Possibly, possibly, this. Yes, I'm trying to go. The array, then. <sighs> At least I 
least I should see like the time for like. And there. Okay, sorry. Okay, someone. Okay. Annoying. Okay. So I guess this would be. I mean, this would be a integer. I mean, a float value like this is like. A string value, this is string, this is Boolean. Are they listing anything that I'm needing to see? String, what? So, all these are string values. This is not an integer. Okay. Fine. Not an integer. Okay. They're listing a number as a string value. So, it is the response object get array field, get string field. You know, of time, and then I I do believe that should that should be it. Should be that specific. If it is, if it is just a string value, dang it. Ah, so annoying. <laughs> I'm going to string array. That has to be what it is. It's real array. And then turn to get copy, then to string, then, or maybe as, or maybe I mean as an object. As texture object. I mean, as set texture object. Okay. <laughs> um, I just maybe that works. Yeah, okay. Well, to, yeah. Possibly, possibly. <sighs> Dang it.
Hmm. Oh, it works every time because it gets connected here through these nodes. <laughs> this is how complicated this gets. So, oh wait, the set text node is disconnected. Okay, whoops. Uh, oh, <laughs> what? Wow. So just to make sure, pop that, I mean, I, get string field. <laughs> so I don't think it's, it's a string. So if this is correct, get string field to text, then set text. I think that might be it, possibly. Okay, it's just that it just didn't have that, the thing activated. <sighs> that is so satisfying. Okay, so now I can do some craziness. I can do some crazy, I can do some Booleans on that. I can put some, oh, I can, ooh, I can do some, ooh, I can do some, ooh. <laughs> ooh, I can do some, sad, ooh, just sad. Okay, ooh, do some. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and then um, as the you know, let me let me do the loop through. You know, hold on. Delay of like, well, yeah, like a delay of like a like a, like a second. Delay of like a second, and then just loop that back through, and there. And then, yeah. Just want to see the time chains, and that'll be it. So, it's, you should be constantly checking for. So, I need to see the time update. In order to do the delay. Pass through back through the the level sequence. I think that might be it. Yeah. Okay. So it is a, a loop through pass through. The delay has to start here. Right there. And then that's how that goes. And then it just it goes through constructs, but then okay, as as, as object as object though. The problem is that I'm gonna <laughs> hold on. It's gonna play that song again. Um what if Okay, well, the music, I can... Okay, I know this works now, so it's like... So I can do the pass-through, back-through... And then set text custom event 
the construction out of the object, the check of the URL. So this is, I need to do a constant call URL. So it may maybe just in this way. So that way the user can keep playing. This could be a pass through. And then I believe that should be the way to update everything. Cause now it's like I thought that was gonna happen. Okay, because <laughs> yeah, this this is being activated again because of callback. So I believe. I mean, the, the callback is how you get the information. So I guess it works. That's the, like, my test function works, so I can just disconnect this, this song and then I think that'll be it. And I just want to, all I want to see is, is the time update. So, there. Okay. Okay, so now, <laughs> so now as time, so now, real time, okay, now we're real time. We're real time now. <laughs> we're real time, real time. Real time. <laughs> so now I have real time. So what I want to do with this is now set the sunlight intensity. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is just, this is amazing. This is just, this is amazing. <laughs> so like, the scale of intensity of sunlight into time frame, into, um, so, okay, what is, uh, the yeah, as yeah, I don't need, I don't need this, and, yeah, I don't need, uh, I don't need the as object already field anymore, so it's great, it's great, I don't need any this on this. So this is uh, day tonight. 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 <laughs> So the weather, I guess it was all just to test this function. So I don't need this anymore, it was just a test, test that. Um, then this delay function, is this connected to this? Huh, this is connected to the so this does not need to be connected to this. So now this can just have a pass through.
So this should be. Yeah, it should be this instead. So. So this is how that's set up. Keyboard elf. <laughs> you elfing? <laughs> this is fine. Uh, so that's why I want to a day to night cycle. Keyboard elfing? <laughs> Keyboard elfing? Sometimes you gotta be like a key roller elf. <laughs> hey, you know, key roller elf, key roller elf, key roller elf. Okay. Now here comes the complicated part. Put it here. Okay. Set intensity. Now. There's a string value. So as a string value. I can do text a string and also have this to string to flow and then have this set like that. But then float and now I can go float times or float plus. So like float times, let's say float times two. And then, you know, that can be the new intensity because essentially it's like 12 and then like as the day goes on, it's essentially kind of, sort of, you know, like, you know, it's going to be updating, you know, as, as it goes so, I don't know, you see what I mean. So I just need to see everything update. Let's see the sunlight. Or is this delay system into the right node? Because I think it's a closed off node. Set text, I, it should be like set text and then off of this node. And then it's just like, yeah, set text and then, and then that should be what I, I should be able to get like everything I need there. Here we go, they <laughs> Okay, all right, okay, now I got daylight, night, night, I got daylight, night, night, light, cycles. Um, that's it, because it's like, whatever this value is, is actually being casted correctly now. And that's, this is great. So now, this, it should, yeah, it looks, <laughs> hold on, let me look outside real quick. <laughs> Yeah, that, <laughs> all right. Done. <laughs> v 
EA REST system. <laughs> it was like, you know, no errors. Perfect code. Perfect code. So that is that. Um, so let me customize it a little. So essentially, I want to get like the intensity scale on the 12 hour cycle. It is, what is the time? I guess it'll go down to like, it is now uh, 22 o'clock. So I mean, you have to be on a divisive scale. So like a, a divisible. So it's like, it's gonna be like military time. So essentially like, as time goes on, because it's going to be six, it's going it's to be like an increasing scale. So as, as a number, it's going to be, it, what I have to do, I have to set it like this. So it's like, it's, I have to, <laughs> the scale has to be, so, okay. Okay, 12 hour scale, 24 hour, or I can do booleans. I can do booleans and be very specific. Actually, why not? If okay, here you go. <laughs> okay, just, okay, I have to just do booleans. Okay, but that would be the way to do this anyway. All right, so let's just make some space here. <laughs> Let me make some space here. You, you, you're gonna see some. Uh, you're gonna see some. <laughs> You can see so it's gonna be so funny. Alright, so if true value set. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> Alright. So if zero o'clock. If float value so Float to pool or pool to pool to float float to pool. Wait, what? Okay. What? Maybe it can be the string value. As a start with the string value, because it's all. And then set. If true set. Okay, so. So I can set it at specific times. It can get really complicated that way, but it might have to be like that. Um, string to string to float. No, don't even try that. All right, how about I do this? Where's the balloon? Or is it a branch? Okay, a branch, yeah. Okay, so let's 
So, the branch. Okay. So string. Okay, and then contains. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> now it's going to get complicated. <laughs> So I want to test it first. Let me make a sequence. Set text into a sequence. So I set the text. And then into the Boolean. And then it's gonna be like, I mean, like, it's 12 of these. I'm gonna need Okay. So this is starting from zero. Wait, would it look like it would look like this? Like that. And then So search in
And then if we'll set text here, if this is true, then set intensity. Set intensity to zero. Okay, so that's essentially that's the start of that. <laughs> and, then, and then I just you know just, you know if not then this. So if not. Uh, and then contains so we just okay there perfect so So what is the intensity, uh, let's see here. So it should have a cycle of 12 and go down. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then the one. cycle at daybreak um, I'm just gonna go down to zero to wouldn't it have to be 20 oh, it'll have to be 24 okay fine that's fine okay that's that's fine also it is 24 hours a day <laughs> and that's the start of this so <laughs> okay. <sighs> and then at night time, so I'm gonna start from zero so I can like have this organized. I told you, he was organized. <laughs> true, true here. I told you he was organized.
<laughs> and it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a. Uh, okay. Okay, so, oh wait, I don't think I need the, the amount of sequences here. Cause now I'm in this. I'm in the brain cycle. Right, okay, perfect. Good, <laughs> that was a bit complicated. <laughs> Or actually, this. Oh wait, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be still this. And then I believe, hmm. What I need, wait, wait a minute. I think at specific times, okay, wait, I might not need like 24 hours. I could probably do like, like four light cycles, five light cycles. Cause at certain daytimes it's like, you know, like daybreak and then like, so six, like 6 PM, right? So like, so I can do a simplistic version of this. So the substring, this is, 1 a.m. And that, what? At... I would say... Six AM should look like Like, 
Yeah, and I can just get it looking more complicated because it's going to be a pass through true false. Okay, it's perfect. Yeah, perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay, so at 6 a.m., it goes like, should be like this. Then, and let's say, should be like this. Then, And then it goes to, let's say it goes to about like, <laughs> about like, like, is it like 5 p.m.? Not 5 p.m. Oh, wait, not 5 p.m. No, no, oh, uh, 17 p.m. <laughs> and then, let's say, say like and then and then I would say 8 p.m. 8 Okay. And yeah. Cause that's that's what I think would and then I could just
And then, I'm gonna make it more complicated as time goes on. Yeah. So, zero to six, six to 12, 12 to five, five to eight, and back again. So is that could I simplify that? So I can do this instead. So it wouldn't matter. And then I have to make the t array. I'm gonna have to make like, make like this. So it's not like specific. And then it's gonna have to go like, so one to six is a very specific time frame. But I have to include one as a condition. As a variable, like a multiple variable. So substring of one. So yeah, can I do a string table, please? Thank you. Wow. Yeah, have string table. Or, uh, uh, Hmm. Let's see, what's, what's string values do that do? So I can like, so like if then I could do like to string like, like a number of strings, not just one string. Append So like if any of these strings if the, like a you know it will be a string table Come on string namespace Would it be string vector to string text, rotator, float, dang it. Or, it could just be like a, a large amount of strings, which, uh, or multiple strings. All specific to string text, to string name. I mean, I'm sure I can go like string to string, but it has to be specific. So it's like. Maybe I'll just do this. Is text from string table? Text. Hmm. It needs to be like a, a certain amount like a, a certain amount of strings. Join string array? Like a bunch of strings. <laughs> That's what it needs to be. 
I'm done that yet. Utility rotator energy rolling. Like string, it could be to string to string vector. No, vector to string. That's string to okay. That's vector to string. Okay, so or maybe oh, god dang it, oh, so annoying. Oh my god, okay, here we go again. Uh, That is annoying in, in a way where it's like, what the heck? So if this string or this string or, so or value, string or. To string, build string, uh, String text, string boolean. Or select string, print string. That's string. Man. These are my tricks. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, um, uh, or win. Or, or, or. Whether they go like contains, you know. But it has to go into a certain value because it's a certain time frame. So it's still the same. So I'm going to just do... Okay, I can do it this way. I can do it that way. And I can do an or, and then... If this or, this is... Yeah. That would be this. <laughs> so, okay. That's the way to do that. So uh, the nighttime cycle, the nighttime, zero intensity. Um, yeah, great. Okay.
So it's 0, 1, 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5. It's like the only way to go like this is an or value so it's like it's like you know like you know <laughs> and they're like calculate for all the times that time is time so it's like either I write out each value on a table or I do like an or a boolean or and then that's basically that is, and then that it's here, 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 here. Okay, so now that's that's that's, that's uh one to five p.m. or five a.m. One to five a.m. and then. I don't know, like 6 a.m. 6, 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. <sighs> okay, here we go. Okay. It's, it's, it, it'll be the only way for it to be like anytime I turn on the, uh, the Kabuki theater that it actually goes directly, because I thought about it, it would have to go directly to the specific time frame. It would have to like check for the time and then go directly to that time frame. Because it's like, like how, many, how much time am I considering? Am I considering 1 p.m. or 2 p.m.? Six, seven, eight, nine, um, and then ten, and then eleven, and then
Okay. <laughs> okay. Because essentially, there are about four light cycles. Dawn, uh, noontime, afternoon, nighttime. And essentially, you know, the sun, um, you know, has a few cycles in the day. So if you actually t take a, a, you know, if you look at the, the sunlight, then essentially there's, you know, a certain amount of time each time. So that's what's interesting about time. Each time, there's a different time. Each time. <laughs> each time. <laughs> time. It's a thing. Heard of it? Time. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Uh, Okay. Four light cycles. Yep. Technically three, but you know, you know how that goes. Technically, <laughs> technically, you know, morning, dawn, night time. You know, morning, dusk, dawn, four or five. Noon, dusk, dawn, night. Dusk, dawn, yeah, dusk, dawn, night. Yeah, four.
Okay. Nice. So the entire light cycle. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and that, because essentially the substring, I'm not putting, I don't need to put the full time, right? So essentially like, you know, the hour, putting the hour time. So it's a specific string of the 24 hour schedule is now being accounted for, which is great. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. That's that's the whole point of the VRS system. Um, active updates of a daylight cycle. And I got that perfectly. And that is the code there. And hey, VRS system string, I told you. All right, and here we go. Yep, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Dawn. <laughs> Says yeah, the other night, the light cycle is going to change as time goes on. Which right now it is. It's now 747. <laughs> oh, wait, you know what I should do? <laughs> what I should do? I should take this and then. Wait, what time is it? <laughs> Oh, well, you know, the magical, magical soul gorilla man knows. <laughs> I magic soul gorilla man. I miss it, I magic soul gorilla man.
Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then, uh, and then, how about, you know what, um, A lot of water to render, but I want to see what happens. Okay. Well, how about this? How about this? Okay. <laughs> Okay, text material, okay. Should be fine. And <laughs> it's seven minutes. And then, and then, and then. <laughs> So I have to update that also.
Okay. Okay, so now should be that. And then there. The Vieira system. Updates time, updates weather. And just like, <laughs> it's so funny. Because I can just like. So, I need a new one. When the hood sign. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what is person type? <laughs> what did you type? <laughs> a 630? Okay. <laughs>
Okay. Um, yeah, that's that's great. Um, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was gonna okay so essentially with the, the VRS system I was gonna do this like let's say last year I was gonna like work on it I looked for the I looked for the the completed you know, VRS system. And I was like, I swear, I, cause I had everything set up to a button. And then I was like, you know, I was like legit like, oh, what, um, where is it? It was in another project. So I have like backups to this, to the uh, Kabuki musical, uh, the Kabuki theater. But in the backups is the Pokemon musical ready to run, which is funny. <laughs> which is funny to me. But people were trying to like act as they made the Pokemon musical and I still have the Pokemon. You know, I still have um the animation data. Like I have the animation data. Cause it's like I still have all. I just I just you know, it's like it's plug and play at this point because it's already done. It's already completed. So essentially, like, oh yeah, the Poké attendance scene. You know what I mean? Oh. Uh, <laughs> eh. 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 Yes, it is. It's gonna take a second.
Okay. The shaders are loading. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be one of those moments. <laughs> Well, I completed this. I gotta just gotta reload everything. I need another CPU. I just need another CPU. That's all it is. I updated my motherboard. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, oh god damn it. Ah, of course. Of course. <laughs> All right, and you know, guess what? <laughs> and you know, guess what? <laughs> That's when <laughs> it's like the whole the whole musical is voiced by me, and people still like just think that. <laughs> And it's like they can just claim they were part of it. It's like, no, you weren't. <laughs> like, what are y'all talking about? <laughs> it's pathetic. Pathetic. That's people, all, you know, these are streamers. It sounds like a YouTuber thing to do. Like, a YouTuber thing would be to, like, Act as if you're somebody when you're not any. Like, you like act as if you've done something you haven't done anything, and the real person is just minding his own business. So it looks like the what is going on to the. This is what I mean by like to say that like when I did the Pokemon musical, I'm not joking. It literally took an hour to load. So to load the Unreal Engine with the Pokemon musical like loadable. So like what I mean by loadable is like I press a button and then the whole thing just loads. So it's like a so it's like a, a level sequence and then you know I'm in there, right? Essentially, because you know it's a live stream, the way that this this happens is that it's almost like it needs to load the entire animation preloaded and then I can just press play but it takes like an hour legit <laughs> legit an hour so it's like I have the entire animations done with it inside the the, the project right here but it's like you know, it's when people try to act as they d did anything, it's like, this was motion capture. So it was my body, it's physical to my DNA. So I was like, kind of like, you know, when people, it's just, everyone's just boring to me now. Like, people are like boring. Like, they, they are that boring to me. Because it's, it's like, Oh what like uh, oh another another fake another liar. So I feel like one punch man every day. Cause essentially it's like who's wasting my time this time? Who's like really? So everyone in their contained groups, their echo chambers, are basically lying to themselves about what's happened. So it's almost like, it's almost like watching somebody who's delusional lose their mind over something that they made up in their own head, which is pretty funny. Uh, 
Yeah, for compressing energy. It's just like, it's, for, it's really funny. It's like, wow, you all just like, are that delusional. And you try to add this, you had any part of what I did. <laughs> this is a motion capture. It's a motion capture. So it was, because it's motion capture, you know. <laughs> it was a, it was a, Oh, that's that. Oh, that's that. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, that's it. And then, see how it, yeah. And then basically, I run over. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. The mods. And then, the mods have come from out of my head. Chagrin, he is hiding. That's basically what I did. <laughs> I just voiced every character and just put it in a, a song. And it's just like people who are so untalented think they have something to say. That's why I think everyone's pathetic. I'm like, who's wasting my time this time? Like, really, like, honestly, like, uh, look at this, Armor Titan. This is the Attack on Titan's dance. This is what, so basically, I, I, this is what I did. I, I went into Blender, and then I took the Blender skeleton and retargeted it. So essentially, as you can see here, all of this is not, like, the, you see the meta rig? This is from Blender, Blender 3D. So I had to retarget that. So basically, retargeting is a is a very specific process, and then you know, yeah, as you can see here, retargeted it, and then do I have that tab where it's like so? Yeah, everything's retargeted. This is this is directly from the retarget manager. Okay, so here you go. So like basically. Yeah, you just, you took, you, you know, you, you, you take whatever is in this rig and then put it to this rig and then you motion capture it and then it is, and then you transfer the anime dash, animation data into this and then that's it, that's the whole thing. And it's just like, if you don't learn, if you don't know how to do that, sorry. Don't, like, don't get angry at me. Like, man, I took the time to learn. <laughs> like, Okay, let's say, let's say, uh, oh, actually, you know what? I'll just show you. I'll just show you what that is. <laughs> I'll just show you. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Titans reference. <laughs> and I made a video of it. It's like that's why I'm just bored of people. Like I hate to be bored of people, but I'm just like because I got an Uber drive, and the long Uber drive, you were like try to pretend that they're Uber driving is like these live streamers are wasting their life away. It's pathetic. It's so pathetic. It's, it's so pathetic. It's 
I just like, I'm like, I'm like, wow. <laughs> Well, it's like that today. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, and then I'll, I'll, I'll watch, watch this, watch this, watch this. I'll watch what? So, like, essentially, it's like this. So I turn off my camera in OBS. And then, and then, you're on here. I thought we the camera. Dang it. Okay, fine. <laughs> what the? Here we go again. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, this is what I'll do with this situation.
Okay. What the... Okay, that's what I thought was gonna happen. <sighs> All right, now I have the lights. What the? Huh? <sighs> this is so annoying. I cannot believe these people are like even in my life. I can't believe they're even in my life. It just ruined everything. It's like there's no point to them.
What the hell happened? Ugh. I gotta redo this? Do they know how complicated that is to make? Looks like they don't.
Huh. Interesting. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, man. It's almost like... <laughs> it's like, wow. Okay.